So we all know that NASA does some really high quality renders, like these 3D renders from the moon or these ones of satellites. But for the last like 60 years they haven't made anything new. I mean why are there no space battles and giant space stations yet? That's lame NASA. And then I remember that I'm a 3D artist so why don't I upgrade some of NASA's stuff? And maybe I can inspire some of the VFX artists at NASA. I took inspiration from these photos, I mean 3D renders, and started by making the Earth. I can't believe they actually published the textures they use for their own CGI on the internet for everyone to download. Anyway, I put the textures on a sphere and made some clouds with a cloud text. Texture. And then I added a blue atmosphere. That's the earth. I don't know why God took seven days, but we'll save the image for later. Then I started blocking out the space station. I imagined a gigantic station with tiny ships flying all over the place. Once I had the basic shape sketched out, which was definitely not final, I started modeling some details. At this point, I have to credit Lino Thomas, who showed this technique in his one hour of Grebo talk at BlenderCon. Now I had these two panels that I was able to switch out with different ones just by adjusting the flip coordinates in the mirror modifier. Next, I just placed the panels all over the space station. I covered the arm and the thing on the side. I only created detail on the side that faces the camera to keep the scene relatively low poly. Then I changed the shape of the station a little bit. I removed the other arms and added a ring, which I covered in panels as well. I duplicated the ring and made it spin, like in Interstellar where they simulate gravity. And I also copied the arm to the other side. Now we need textures. I UV unwrapped the panels and imported the to Substance Painter. I applied this green painted steel material and jumped back into Blender. Lighting in space is a little tricky because usually shadows are pitch black because there is nothing to scatter or reflect the light into the shadows. But in Earth's orbit there is usually an Earth to reflect the sun so the shadows become blue. So in Blender I just added a very strong sunlight, imported the image of Earth that I created earlier and put a blue plane behind the camera to get some nice blue shadows. The surface of the ship still needed some more details, so I modeled some antennas, some guns and this box. I made a material that changes color every time the object is being copied to avoid repetition. And then I scattered them all over the station. Next I modeled the tiny ships I talked about in the beginning of the video and made a space highway. I thought it would be pretty cool if there were several space stations in the distance, so I placed two images of the space station into the background. Next I added some small stuff, made a camera animation, changed a few settings and added some glare and lens distortion in the compositor. Then I rendered the scene. It took like 10 hours for a 260 frame animation. The last but most important step was color grading in After Effects. And that's basically it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to download the scene files and all of the assets I created, you can join my Patreon.